your page on Reiki and today is your anime girl page here hosting today's episode <laughs> for those of you who have been joining us who have been following us on um, the series on love and science channel welcome back it's nice to have you it's nice to see familiar faces nice to see um all of you who are you know who have been commenting who have been sharing your experiences to me as well i really really greatly appreciate them so thank you so much and for those of you who are new to this channel who has just uh you know maybe you stumble across this video um on like youtube recommendation hi and i'm so grateful to have you here as well i hope that you enjoy your stay and that you have learned plenty of things from you know the experiences we share so yeah, if you are new here, definitely, you know, check out the rest of the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and the notification bell so that you will get notifi notified when we upload new episodes, okay? And yeah, for those of you who have been here for a while, you know, share this video out with your friends, with your families, with uh, anyone that you find, you know, this video will be helpful too. As mentioned in the previous episode, I'm actually doing a mini-series between taking a page on Reiki and sharing about my favorite ways to use Reiki beyond just physical body healing. And yeah, today we are actually on episode 2 of the mini-series which is um, talking about my second favorite ways to use Reiki like, you know, beyond all those like physical healing this is my second favorite way so to use Reiki like overall I would think okay, and it is to use Reiki to set the tone or to set an intention for the best possible outcome in the future so when people Things about or hear about using Reiki to set the tone or you know set an intention for the future, they might immediately think about manifestation. While Reiki can be used on you know sending good energy to your manifestation list to help you to manifest you know your maybe dream job, your dream girl, more money, etc. It is possible. Um, to the way that I like to use Reiki for this is more specific. I have to say, um, it's usually when you have a specific event coming up, an important event coming up that you use Reiki to send good intention, to send good energy to those events. So to help it to, you know, go smoother to, you know, for the outcome to become like better or more aligned to your journey, more aligned to your, you know, your um, purpose, okay? So for example, it could be you are having an important event coming up, okay, like say an interview for an important position or let's say um, an interview for a job that you really, really want, you can actually send Reiki to, you know, that interview to have it go smoother or um, if you have an important examination or presentation that is coming up, um, this can also apply, um, which is something that I have tried numerous times, to sending Reiki to a travel trip. Okay, like back when traveling is still possible, I often, um, you know, after I learn Reiki, okay, I often send Reiki to my travel trip so to help everything to go smoother, to, um, you know, to have less mishap. And basically, I would say that my trips that, you know, um, it has been pretty awesome. Like, you know, I have been traveling solo for many many times i think over 20 times by now um across japan um usually i go to japan so that is it um i go a few times to korea but never have solo trip yet um but yeah like you know um japan is kind of like my home place like where i feel home at there so i often um travel day solo and um usually i do tr send um reiki to the trip to ensure like kind of like saying a prayer kind of like setting a good intention for the trip to go smoothly for me to not have missing any flight or you know not having any much of a mishap um the closest to a mishap that i ever had was actually um uh, when i was about to come back from japan um previous year yeah previous year and um i actually missed my flight because i kind of like got lost in time um hiking hiking through um you know those mountains to to see all the sights and so on so yeah i kind of like almost like i actually missed my flight and um i am very grateful that it 
it is resolved very smoothly that I just had to call the person and the person was able to you know speak a little bit of English and help me to resolve everything smoothly and I get on the next flight like two hours later and be able to you know have everything just when well like you know there's no not much of a mishap even though um, usually missing a flight is quite a big mishap you know so yeah that is that and um, yeah like you can also send Reiki um, you know setting the intention to um, let's say if you are visiting a relative if you are going on a road trip sending Reiki to all these um, you know all these little trips and stuff it can help to neutralize the energy there like if you're feeling nervous you will feel more at ease okay and if you are like you know like sometimes when we are on a trip we might worry about things like worrying about if the trip is going to go smooth are we going to um, you know run into any accident or incidents you know and um, a Reiki on this you know on the journey itself can assist us to feel more at ease to feel more at peace you know during the traveling time and yeah i do also um send reiki to events like um you know not just events like um also send reiki to let's say parcels that is delivering to me um, I often do that and um, give them a good energy so that the ad, the the parcel can you know arrive to me safely and soundly and not you know missing in action, which kind of happen quite often. I would say my parcels usually comes to me like you know quite quickly and there's very little mishap throughout that. Um, apart from once, like you know that the parcel literally was stolen. I guess. Yeah, that was that once, but um, it was covered, it was insurance covered, so there is no loss on that as well. So yeah, like you can actually send Reiki to, you know, to help yourself with all these little things that you do in life. And yeah, if you're open to it, you know, you can always set intention um, of the future plans you have, you know. And it, Reiki, although it does not always help things come true, it doesn't, it's not like um your fairy godmother who helped you to you know make everything that you dream of come alive come into physical but at least it can help with um you know pointing you to the right direction pointing you to the direction that you meant to travel if you are not getting the the thing that you desire the most you will get the things that at least most aligned to your journey that can push you forward to where you want to go eventually so that's that and yeah over here I'm actually going to you know do a little bit of um, Reiki sending and for those of you who are you know who are interested to receive can feel free to stick around and I will have a consent for everyone to read so that um, you know if you are open to receive the Reiki then uh, just read the consent out loud and you will be able to receive the Reiki energy okay see you in a bit Hi, welcome back. So for those of you who are staying and for those of you who you know click onto this part of the video, I will assume that you are interested in get in receiving the Reiki energy. So yeah, for those of you who are open to receive the Reiki energy, I will have the consent you know written down here and you know you just have to repeat this and you know add into um, those you know frank blanket place so that um, it can make it your own okay you can even like add in um, a little bit of like um, a little bit more specific that if you have them you can feel free to set the intention for yourself so that um, you know individualize it um, to help make it more applicable to your own situation okay so the consent goes I full name am open to receive the Reiki energy to assist the event okay event can be interview presentation examination etc that is happening on date or the day like you know tomorrow on Thursday or next week etc may this energy brings ease and groundedness to me during the event and help to bring a favorable outcome for the highest and greatest good of all involved so it is Okay, if you're open to receive the Reiki energy, feel free to, you know, read the consent out loud, say it out loud, 
customize it as well and um yeah over here okay and then just sit back relax okay and i'm going to send us all um the reiki energy to assist everyone who you know have an upcoming important event you know okay over here i'd like to invite everyone who is joining us to breathe with me so breathe in for three and out for five breathe in for three and out for five Breathe in for three and out for five. If you have any worries that is plaguing you, you may be worrying about the events, you may be, you know, having a lot of thoughts, a lot of concerns. You're over here, gently feeling that all those concerns, all those thoughts being lifted off you by the gently gentle wind that is touching your skin allow each and every little breeze to take away all those thoughts all those concerns all those worries away and allow yourself to fall into the rhythm of your breathing breathe in for three and out for five breathe in for three and out for five. Continue the breathing. And also, when you're ready, I'd like you to visualize that the place that you're sitting on, okay, um, like any parts of your skin that is touching the ground or the flat surface that you're sitting on. Okay, just visualize all those parts that is touching the ground, the surface, to have roots sprouting out of them, like energetic roots sprouting from your, maybe it's a hips, your root chakra, or sprouting from your feet, your legs that is touching the ground or touching the surface. Letting those roots sprouting, whiter, clinging you to the surface of Madagaya, clinging you to earth, and along and a center root, I would say center roots that is growing from the center and just continue to grow down, downwards, growing longer and deeper, deeper and deeper into the center of the earth. And from here, we are touching the essence of Madagaya. Breathe in for three, out for five. Visualize that the roots touching the essence of Mother Gaia and her energy starting to come up the roots and assist you to further ground, assist you to feel more grounded, more on earth. more at the presence okay. I'm going to send the energy over here the Reiki energy it's important to stay in the presence and even though I know that it is easy to lost in the anxiety, the worries of the events or the trips or the examination or the interviews that's coming up, remind yourself that what matters most is that you are here, right here, right now. Come back to your now, come back to the present. Have you done everything? you need to do to prepare for the event allow yourself to shift through the to-do list that you have 
for that event that is happening. Give yourself mental checks of everything that you could have done, that everything that you should have done. Check off all those things that you, you need to do, that you should do, that you can do. Once you have done everything about that, it's okay to let go. Trust in yourself. Trust that you have done everything you could do to prepare for that future. Trust that all those efforts that you have put in is enough. Trust that you are fully prepared. And if you have not fully prepared yet, then you do still have time to prepare for them. And it is okay. Things are going to go well. Breathe in the good energy. Allow that to fill your every parts of your body, your every single limbs, every single parts of your muscles, your joints, your nerves. You are going to be okay. Regardless of the outcomes, you are going to be okay. I know the event is important to you and it's okay to want it, to really deeply desire that. But there's so much that you can do and worrying about it, going sleepless against, you know, going sleepless towards it. It's not going to help. What you need right now is be back in your present and do your best to take care of yourself. Allow yourself to be in that peak condition to face the challenge. and trust in yourself, in your capability. You have prepared for it, right? Then trust that you have amply prepared for it. You've done all that you can. And if you have not done all that you can, now you know what you can do to further assist yourself for the success for the event to go smoothly you are going to be fine deep breath and let those anxiety out with your exhale breathe it out blow it out sigh it out do anything you want to do to release the anxiety that's plaguing you right now. You are going to be okay. The event is surrounded with good energy now. And you know that you are doing your best. And that's enough. That's all that matters. You 
you are going to be okay. for joining us thank you for tuning in for yet another episode and if you need to take more time to you know sit with the energy you can feel free to you know after this after the video the energy can be still integrating so feel free to take a moment and just sit with it you know just sit with the energy and if there's anything that you can do later or you know you can do like you know tomorrow you can get to that tomorrow okay there's no rush you are fine you are going to be okay okay trust in that and i hope to see you in the next episode as well and till then bye